Welcome to another mega exciting five minute auto pairing. So Spinal Tap 2310. Okay, let's try Smith Power. As you can play knight f6, that's quite popular knight f6. Okay, so we play bishop d3. Now it's interesting, it's a little bit gamety. Okay, I'm not pointing at f7. That's one thing. I hear, um, yeah. Mm, okay. I'm wondering Queen B3. It would have been nicer with the bishop pointing there, so he's got a point. <clears throat> I can still do it, I suppose. If Bishop F3, Queen B7. Just to get out of this uh, predicament. Knight d2, knight d4. Um, queen b7, does that work? I think that might work. Okay, the double pawns. Oh, I'll go for that. So, uh, he's wanting for dynamic play here, but. Oh, no, f3, bishop e3, and then knight c4. Is that so bad? If I have bishop e3, I'm on that. Um, okay, so knight c4, knight c5. No, no, I'm on b6. So b5, or knight b5. Okay, that, that is a problem. Yeah. Have I got anything there? A4 and knight b5. No, rook d1, knight b5. Hmm. Knight b5 here. d6 and c7. Right, just does that. There's rook f2, maybe if I rook d2. Put that back here for a moment. <clears throat> Is rook d2 and rook d1, or a3 first? a3, I don't know about knight c5. I think d6 is a target. I'll neutralize this a file and put pressure on this. Weakness, really. Uh, there's no rook a3 or anything there. No. So rook d1 and double. That's my target. d6. Okay, some pressure finally. Maybe b4 just to get off this diagonal. Um, Double for a moment. There's knight b3, rook, rook d6. I don't know, no, 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 no. Rook d3, I think. Knight b3, I think mean, it might be worth playing soon. Or f4 and e5. I think f4 and e5 if it wasn't for that. So g4 first. And f4 is knight e4. <laughs> so b4 and then an f4. So I'm going to try for this e5 business. There's bishop c3. Ah, uh, I can trap this bishop. Get two bishops here. Can you take care? I'm trapping and trapping the bishop anyway. And special G5 could be handy in some lines. Just make note of. Right. I'm going to take here and take on B6. That bishop's still trapped. I'm going to take on D8 and take on D6. So 
that's good. Not leaving the centre pawn just yet. Check. Oh, he's resigned. Wow. Well, that was a tactical comeback. Yeah, just let's have a look. The evaluation's not so much in Black's favour here, technically. So there's a bit of initiative. Yes, I don't know about that. It's an interesting decision. It's giving him some dynamics on the A file, but with A3 later, the B5 square is important. He can't ever contest it with A6. I think that's one downside. Otherwise, it's like dynamic play. Knight takes E5, apparently. Why? This position seems, from an engine perspective, okay. And why not this one? Rook FC8, G4 instead, F4, F5. Oh, this I'm <laughs> still trapping the bishop. This bishop's a problem for G4, F5, F4, F5, like in the game. It's an underlying problem here, I suppose. If the bishop's a tactical target, I would have thought the main problem, yeah, is b5 because he can't ever play a6. So that's a comfortable use of b5 for a moment. And um, yeah, this d6, well, g4 already here as well. Maybe it's to do with g5. g5, that's an important tempo gain. So f4. Yeah, but then knight takes e4. Gets a bit messy. Does it? Check. I think it's in white's favour. Knight a7 mentioned. Here. G4. F4. And again, it's two pieces. Okay, there. Alright, so this... We have this position with f4 now being... Dangerous for f5, getting a small advantage, two pieces. For the, that might be a slight mistake. So rook a8. When he played this, I can take time out. I don't have to munch the bishop immediately. Well, I can't anyway. It's attacked. Yes, it's good to take time Check. out here. Now he resigned here. I mean, okay, I'll take care. Take d6, Check. that's important. And a bishop up. Yeah, it's, it's an interesting game. I didn't know I had that much compensation earlier on. Okay, comments or questions on YouTube? Thanks so much.